Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video of the Real Estate Masterclass. And today we're going to explain to you why Amsem is the most profitable city to invest in if you want to do real estate investments. And that will depend on whether you're going to choose to pick on this strategy or not. So let's get started with your choice. start first off with Amsterdam. For our international viewers outside Europe, Amsterdam is the capital city of the Netherlands and it's a very touristic place, a very common area where you know a lot of tourists come to Netherlands to basically enjoy the Dutch culture but a lot of people are moving to Netherlands because of the high quality of life as well. And you might not know it but the Netherlands has a shortage of 2 million houses and we currently only have 8 million houses which we spent 100 years to build. So in the Netherlands we're also dealing with a housing shortage where the politics are basically also discussing on a weekly or daily basis on how how to resolve the housing crisis that we're currently dealing with here in the Netherlands. And at the same time, there's a lot of limitations happening in terms of laws when you cannot do, for instance, buy to let. Yeah, for instance, um, they have a uh, self occupancy clause where if you want to buy the house, you must live in there by yourself. Therefore, you cannot rent it out. But let's assume you're able to do that. And I'm just going to show you directly Funda. As you can see, I just opened Funda today and where you can see multiple houses in Amsterdam where you know houses of 77 square meters are being offered for like 700,000 euros. So imagine you buying this house, you get 2,000 euros of rent for it times 12 is 24K divided by 700,000 euros gives you a few percent return on your total investment. Now, that is one way to do it. This is where the common people, the most people actually spend time doing it, which is buying something and doing buy to let. However, the most profitable strategy is in what we call the subdivision of the house. And what does that actually mean? So imagine that you have a huge apartment, let's say 120 square meters. In Amsterdam, you're able to split that legally into three apartments and therefore three separate house numbers. And that allows you to actually rent out three different units at 2,000 euros per piece. So instead of just having one apartment, which you rent out for 2,000 euros, you actually have three from your purchase price from the, be the beginning if you get the right permits. So subdivision basically means you buy a big piece of square meter property, you split it into two, three, four parts, and then rent every part out as a separate house number. You must get the right papers, you must have the right building team, you must submit the right um, request, et cetera, et cetera. But this strategy is very profitable. Now, what we nowadays see is that if you have about 200, 250,000 euros working capital, you can actually execute upon this strategy, where you, you, know, you could buy, for instance, this apartment, split it into four pieces, and then rent each of them separately out. And the interesting part about the subdivision strategy is that you're able to sometimes even double the property value, just getting the permit and splitting it into three parts. And let me give you an example of an appraisal report that we recently did. So in its simplicity in Amsterdam, you could buy an apartment for 620,000 euros. It has 130 square meters and they'll be worth over a million if you do it in the right way. And your working capital that you need is about 200,000 euros to get this entire strategy done. But the interesting part is that if you do this strategy, you buy for 600,000 euros, you pay your transfer taxes, you pay your you know, renovation costs and all the other expenses, you arrive at about 800,000 euros total investments, but the property could be worth a million, all those three apartments, three apartments combined will be actually really over worth a million. And you can therefore refinance at 80% loan to value, so the 100 million, so the million, 80% loan against it, so you have 200K of equity remaining. Then you get the 800,000 euros in the form of a loan, which was your total investment initially. So therefore you could 100% almost recycle your entire investments. So invest 200K and you get your entire money back at a basis of 800K of um, you know, a mortgage loan. So therefore your money is being recycled very fast in a very short time and your returns are insane. Now. I just said those numbers that were of course a bit intentional. So let me show you also a real appraisal report that one of our students recently did, which is the following property. So this property is uh, purchase price 620,000 euros. And as you can see, it was appraised in rental state value 570,000 euros and empty state value 630,000 euros. So in the Netherlands, we have two types of appraisal values. And here you have the rental state value and you have the empty state value. And as you can see, if you want to sell the property, you could buy it at 600 
120,000 euros, renovate it, do the transfer tax, and of course, pay for the um, uh, permit uh, fees uh, and legal fees, etc., which gives you about 800, 820,000 euros of total investment, and you need about 200K. But afterwards, it's over a million. So there's 200K of profit. And this entire program, if you, if you want to do this uh, approach, it takes about maximum six months. So you buy a property within your, for one, two months, your uh, permit takes about two months, your innovation takes about two months, and here and there, you still need to arrange some stuff so you can sell it at the end. But this entire program will t make you probably about 200K in expectancy, of course. The core approach of this strategy is, of course, that you actually great value to the property by making a huge property smaller. So this was bought originally by 130 square meters. And as you can see in this appraisal report, it was eventually cut into three apartments and uh, that will be demonstrated here. Original square meters was almost 130. That was, what, that was split into three parts and that was 120 square meters in total as livable area because there's a hallway that you must create for those three apartments. And so by actually making more houses in the same amount of square meters, you create a lot of profit in doing this. And at the same time, you contribute to society because more houses will be added as an overall supply on the total housing market. Now, you know, as said, we're short on about 2 million houses for the coming years in the Netherlands. And so therefore people crave to have a new house. So why is this strategy then so interesting? You know, we've talked about, of course, buying something uh, of 600,000 euros, which first of all is what we call, you know, not that liquid of an asset in this market. The interest rates have gone up around the world. So therefore expensive apartments or large square meter apartments as well at the same time, those are not that much in demand as they used to be. So you buy something that people don't really want, let's say in general, or at least there's a lot less demand for it. Then you turn it into three beautiful luxury apartments, which everybody wants to rent. And in the process, you put in 200K and could make about 200K profit out of just this simple transaction in about six months time. And this is how we train our students, our mentees to learn this strategy, to create this level of profit if they wanna pursue their real estate career with us, of course. And so by doing this, you've added actually two extra houses. They're luxury houses. So everybody will enjoy them, whoever is going to live in them as well. And at the same time, as you've seen from the valuation jump, you could also pretty much refinance your entire investment out of it. So instead of you buying a buy to let, wherein you know you buy something for 600,000 euros, you can get 80% in loan to value, you will actually end up you know, spending less money doing a subdivision strategy than of course a buy to let strategy. But the requirement is of course, that you have about 200, 250,000 euros of working capital to make this strategy work. And so here you can see also expected rent. We know that the rents are a lot higher in Amsterdam. So that's what we can just say from, you know, market experience. But by doing this, by making illiquid assets more liquid, you will create a huge market for yourself and of course a lot of profit. Now, um, in case you're interested in pursuing this strategy more or learning more about it, don't forget to leave a comment behind below the video or send us an email or find us on Instagram as well. And uh, don't forget to click the link and subscribe yourself below. Thanks for watching and we're looking forward to welcoming you at the next video. Bye bye.